President Eisenhower springs the biggest surprise of all on the Big Four Conference at Geneva when he proposes that America and Russia should exchange blueprints of all military bases and be allowed to take aerial photographs of each other's territory. While the Russians think over this novel plan, both formal and informal meetings continue. At French Premier Edgar Faure's villa, a luncheon party is given for the other delegates. Mr. Dulles represents President Eisenhower, who is prevented by diplomatic custom from attending such functions unless they are given by another head of state. Russian Premier Marshal Bulganin is there with Foreign Minister Molotov. So is Sir Anthony Eden standing beside America's Dulles. While the statesmen get together, so do their wives. With Lake Geneva on the doorstep, what could be more pleasant than a motor launch trip while the husbands talk? Meet Lady Eden and Mrs. Eisenhower and Madame Faure. But it's no good hoping for solitude. With so many world-famous faces in Geneva, every outing becomes a procession. Here's something we haven't seen since Potsdam. The world's leaders sitting together for a photograph. Does it mean a more lasting agreement than Potsdam achieved? Marshal Bulganin of Russia, President Eisenhower of the USA, Premiers Edgar Faure of France and Sir Anthony Eden of Britain. In the hands of these four men, more than any others, rests the future of the world. May they justify the confidence which the world puts in them. <laughs>